Welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2, ladies and gentlemen. I am your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and we're now in episode 10, which will not be post-commentary and retrospect, thankfully. So you probably will recognize where we are. We are here at the Checkpoint Rest Town. So I've taken the ox cart out here. I was really excited to get back out to this point of the game because I remember the mobs and everything being super fun out here. Really enjoyed playing through this area. And as you can see, we are mad dripping again. So let me go through my equipment that I've got real quick. I have the same bow, but that's okay because I particularly remember picking up a bow in this area that is going to be super powerful like it said something about being particularly strong against griffins which is great so super huge fan of that but same bow i have the sage's hood it's maxed out i think this hood looks really cool very assassin's creed right uh, my beloved wild eagle padded armor i feel like once we get this maxed out again it's just going to take us far right it's going to be Really, really good. I love the way it looks, especially with these scarlet over knee boots, which are almost maxed out. Uh, these look particularly good with this armor. I think it's a nice mix up. And then I just have this really basic soft neck wrap, which is like literally the second one you get in the game. But it looks really good with this set until we find it with something else to replace it with. I feel like something a similar color, but with an actual sash that goes down the back would probably look absolutely awesome with this setup. But I'm running the same rings. I have the Ring of Triumph, which you need 15 Seekers tokens for, I believe. And then the Ring of Behemoths, because this helps me knock people down easier with the Flying Kick and my arrows. And then I got this Ring of Skullduggery as a reward for the bits that I showed before. So that's going to be helpful in case we need to shoot something in the back. But I think our setup looks awesome. No, it's not quite as revealing, but that's okay. I think it just looks great super happy with it and i'm ready to go kick some ass if you guys are so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna do the same thing i did on my very first run through here we're going to collect the nearby treasure i believe there should be chests nearby right yep here's one i'm not necessarily concerned with breaking all the boxes and getting all of the loot like that we're not going to work hard for it but we are going to get the obvious stuff which is just the chests that are near the beginning Bam. Money. Thankfully, money has just been a complete non-issue on this character. I feel like once you know where to look for it, it's a completely different experience. I could have swore there was one more. Is it over here? Yes, it is over here. Great. And then we're going to follow this ravine, which is going to lead us to a dead end that has a Saurian scale cape. Pretty sure, anyway. And if we have to fight stuff on the way there, so be it. Don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah, look at that, man. There's like fish stuck to the wall on these spikes. Okay, here's the eggs. I've become drenched with disgusting fish water. Oh, I remember these things. I was curious to see how this is going to go for round two, right? I want to see how effective the kick is against these guys. Because I know that my arrows are not going to be particularly good against them. Because they're obviously like solid rock. They're not exactly easy to fight. Okay, if we, if we shoot him in the head, it's not so bad. Okay, he died pretty quick. Obviously, these things are still not... Uh, not going to be a problem, which is good. I wasn't worried about it. Come here. Oh, I can't pick him up. I was going to try to pick that guy up and throw him. That would have been hilarious. So fire is probably not the ideal boon against these guys, which, I mean, go figure, right? It's like they're made of rock. Uh, they're probably resistant against heat, I would think. Let's see what our arrows do against them, though. Okay, we're not doing hardly any damage. 
Okay, but the kick seems to work pretty well. Oh yeah, the kick definitely did damage. That's a good sign. And then it's looking like electricity is really tearing them apart. I mean, when she actually hits them in like their vitals, because you can see me shooting them in the face, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage. But, it's hard to get a running start. There we go. Once he's been knocked over and had his poise broken, that's when the damage just kind of sets in. So that's good. Alright. I remember there being a chest up here. Let's not forget that. I could have swore there were Saurians in this cave the first time I went through here. But I could be crazy. Would it surprise anyone at this point? Okay, we're definitely picking up these sun blooms because that means explosive arrows. And that's something I haven't even bothered to try against these guys. Maybe I should. That'd probably be a good idea. I don't think I'm going the right way. Now look at that guy. Oh boy, he's about to take a tumble. Maybe we should help this guy. I should probably stop being a jerk and just watching him get folded by rock lizards. Maybe we should actually help. Huh? Maybe. Yeah, it's not going well. There we go. Oh, Lord. That's what I get for trying to help somebody. Yep, I just killed that guy. Great. Alright, sir. Let's see if I can kick him into his poison. Yo, jump out of the way! Damn it. I saw him rolling towards me. <laughs> I didn't do anything about it. Alright. Come here, you. Let's not... Oh, Lord! That's exactly what I didn't want! Alright, we're already down here. Let's, uh... Does anybody have something I can heal with? Let me just bum that off, you big guy. Give me some fruit here, huh? Bam and bam. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna grab this. It's already down here. Looks like I took one of those guys with me. That's incredibly humorous. Hey guys, you can come down here anytime, you know. Come, come help me, please. <laughs> Took one down. So it looks like I have gone the wrong way. Imagine that. Well, you know what? I'm not angry about it because I'm having fun. I really like going through this area. Like, it really doesn't bother me that I'm going through this area again. What's that? No, potatoes. Nope. It does not bother me whatsoever to go through this area again. What is going on? Yeah, let's break some pulleys, huh? So I wonder if these guys can even be tarred. That's a good question. Okay, and that seems super duper effective, right? Oh shit. No, 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 no. And there we go. Oh, I stopped him. Sweet. So that's good to know. Uh, what that reminds me of is... I mean, it is a Capcom game, right? So imagine that. But it reminds me of Rataban from Monster Hunter World. The oily wyvern that will... Alright, double dabs for me. I'm happy about that. That just brought me joy. Um, oh, we're still light. What am I worried about? I thought for sure I would have been average by now after picking up all these heavy-ass rock scales. But, okay. We did clear it. A full-on dead end. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're going the wrong way. I did need to come this way for one reason. The Red Wolves. I don't know that they're going to be here. I don't know how common the spawn is, because I only ran into them one time. But I... Excuse me. I need to fight the Red Wolves, because... I need their fangs. I need just one single Red Wolf fang. Is that aimed at me? Is that supposed to hit me? Who did that? Where are you? Do you think this is funny? Alright, we're gonna find whoever did that. Anyway, chest right here. I remember this being here. Let's go ahead and grab it. I don't think we want what's in here, but we're still gonna get it. Yep, I knew it was a... 
It was some kind of redundant curative that's not super, not super relevant, because I do recall it being useless when I opened that. Whoa. All right. That's all I wanted. I just wanted a curb stomp at me. Um, okay. Is there anything of import? Please do not jump into the brine. Where's chicken? All right. So, let me just tell you guys, I've had such an experience with uh, losing pawns to the brine, losing pawns to cliffs and edges. It's just like, they're so stupid. And I don't mean to be mean when I say that. I know it's 100% all about uh, the silly programming, right? It's like it's their AI. They don't mean to be as dumb as they are, but consequently, they are, and that's all there is to it. So I lose them quite often to really stupid shit, and sometimes it's quite funny. Other times it's quite frustrating. Like, there isn't much that's more frustrating than being like, what the hell? That's the pawn that had my camp kit. <laughs> or, what the hell? That's the pawn that had all my potions. And I'll tell you what else I learned the hard way is that you should probably pick up camping kits when you see them, even though they're annoyingly heavy. Oh, here we go. Speak of the Red Wolves. Come here. Let me kick you. Give me a fang. Thank you. That's all I needed. Now I can upgrade my stuff. Come here, you. Yeah, these ones are tougher, for sure. They are not as easy to kill. Oh, I don't want to kick them. Jesus, that would have sucked. Had I gone flying over the edge... <laughs> enjoy the brine, pup. Uh, had I gone flying over the edge, that would have been not very funny. But um, here we go. This is the bow I was looking for. So this ought to be... Despite this thing being completely maxed out, let's look at the numbers together. I have a feeling this is going to be an immediate damage upgrade. Oh, yeah. Look at the difference in knockdown power. So it says, A bow engraved with the form of a dark beast, especially ruinous to griffins. Yes, please. Let us upgrade that, and we will give this to Rin, so that way we're not carrying it and it's not super heavy. This thing is cool, but I was already wearing this in my other videos, so I know it's better, right? Like, this is the same hat I was wearing, but it's clearly much, much better, and it has better knockdown resistance, as well as resistance to more debilitations, but it just doesn't look anywhere near as cool. Do you feel me? So, we're going to give it to Rin. That should be it. Hell yeah. New bow. I'm excited. This is going to be a... Yep. Just for the rift crystals. Alright, where are my pawns? I need y'all to come over here. I don't want to talk to you. Get out of here. Oh, good lord. I'm a murderer. Anyway, let's go up here, because we know this is the way to go. Uh, this is not the way we were supposed to be going, because I'm supposed to be rescuing the kid from the wolves, and I wanted to make, like, an actual episode out of that, because before, well, you guys have heard me complain about it a million times at this point, the chest, right? Yeah, there it is. Uh, I had to splice this part. I had to cut everything up and stitch it together and do retrospect, and I really would like you guys to see the actual the actual doing of the thing. I want you guys to see what happens when you actually do this quest. It's really cool, man. Get that to Leon, get that to Leon. So the only thing I want to carry on me is stuff that I can use. We're gonna combine this with some twigs, explosive arrows. We're gonna stay light. We're gonna stay very light. What is that? I heard something scream. Or didn't I? Oh, oh well. Come on, guys. Let's make our way up. Up the cliff we go. And then we know that there's going to be a spot right there, as a matter of fact, where we need to use the springboard ability. So let's go do that, because there was like 4,000 gold up there, as I recall. Uh, hello? Come on, Leon. You know what I want, dude. You know what I need. 
Thank you, sir. That's my dude. Alright. Yeah, this had like 4,000 gold in it, didn't it? Boom! The satisfaction of kicking that crate. And then I'm pretty sure the note up here just says something about that tomb up there. Now, I want to bring this to your guys' attention, by the way. There's an NPC back in the village, and uh, I included this in those clips, right? In the retrospect, when I was doing a recap of what all I had done on this character to get caught up to this point. Which is exactly where we left off on the thief. It didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. I'm happy about that. But there's an NPC back in the village that kind of makes a big deal out of that. He says, uh, will you please go check the cenotaph? It's a great Nevermore song, by the way. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's what he's talking about. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be like the, the ancient resting grounds or whatever. The, the cenotaph that he speaks of. I'm pretty sure it's, it's that. Might not be. I'd be fine if I'm wrong. I'm not going to... I'm not going to run from my comeuppance. I'm never scared to be wrong. Because if I'm wrong, it just means it's an even newer place. It means it's different. Uh, I just ran in a complete circle. Sorry, guys. I'm being stupid. Uh, we needed to go where this road is that leads off to the side. Unless that's just a river. Okay, it is. We cannot go that way. Alright, fine. Uh... I guess we're just going to follow this little skinny road, then. That loops up this way. Uh, and it, I understand... Whoa! This guy wasn't here before! <laughs> That's cool. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's burn him, right? Let's get that incendiary shot going. Which, I don't know if the rain is going to affect that. But we want to burn him. Damage over time. Come here, you. Bam. Notice I have lots of explosive shot, right? Like, we're not on a shortage of that. Here we go. And let's knock him over. There we go. Oh, no. Yep, this is good. I will take this. <laughs> Let's melt him down! <laughs> nice. What is this? Oh, I can just... Nice. I can just uh, loot him from down here. That works. Fine with that. Not bad, y'all. I was not expecting that. He definitely wasn't there before, so... That was exciting. The game, uh, this game has been very good at doing that to me so far in this playthrough. It's been very good about... What? Why did we run over here? What are you pointing at? Huh. Looks pretty. A lot of this game very much has held on to its beauty, right? Of like... You know those classic areas. Soul Flayer Canyon um, is one of my favorites from the first game. Really, really love doing that that cave it is outstanding let me give these to somebody before we have to worry about it shall we Rin kind of holds on my curatives so she can have those I will eat that just to top myself off man it is storming through here that's cute where on earth did you come from? Now I have to top myself off again, you jackass. Goodness. You're gonna give me the meat sweats. I have to eat all of these. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's already on the damn ground. Nah, this is not gonna work. We need... We need the oil shot. That's it, do your little charge. Or that, that's fine. There we go. I want to know what's going on with these rocks. Who's pushing them? Alright, I need you to sit down. Goodness, this guy has a lot of poise.
There we go. He's confuzzled. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Let's break the horns. Nice. I didn't even know she had that quest. That was that was a full-on bonus. And we got a fairy stone, too. That's always a good find. Look for the horns, y'all. We need them. There's one. He's got two. Where is... Okay, somebody else just got it, I think. Nice. All right. So, I am... What's that? What is this game trying to do to me right now? Ah, shit! Alright, so we're supposed to be saving a boy from wolves right now. That ain't happening. Alright, you have a rock. Help me! <laughs> Go! Come on! Uh, okay, or that. Shoo! Let's not get blown up by magic, right? But let's definitely get this goat. Alright, he's too far away for me to do ample damage. There we go. Yes, blow him up. That's it. You dumb goat, you're done. You get a few of these off on him. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Love it. Okay, let's uh let's get the fire going again, shall we? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Take a nap. Oh, nuked! Damn. They dabbed each other up. I didn't know they could do that. Alright. Ooh, all heal elixir. And then a freakish main. Sweet! Okay, so... The further this direction I go, the more increasingly insane this shit gets. We should not be doing this. Maybe let's head back and go towards the actual objective, which is... Yeah, I went the complete wrong way. I just had to follow the stream, didn't I? God, nobody ever listens to Smeagol. Don't follow the lights. And boy, did I. The lights just happen to take the form of things of interest. That's the dead Cyclops. All right. Yeah, let's go back. We gotta get out of here. God, that was intense. Three things in a row. Three bosses in a row just decided that... I don't know. They just woke up and chose violence. Like, I mean, same, but... Hell. My pulse right now is like, whoa! <laughs> nope, don't fall. Jesus. Let's unclench our buttholes. All right. Probably don't really need my lantern for this because it's not that dark in here, but I don't know. All right, come on, y'all. Yes, please. And I shall be your lover. God, that's a terrible song. So, let's follow the stream back, right? Put our lanterns away. We don't want to burn through oil. Oil is super valuable on this build. Big time. I'm really loving the incendiary and uh, explosive shot combos. Incendiary and erupting shot. Two-step process to bring the foe down. We incend, and then we erupt. Very simple. The math, maths. It never gives us trouble. 
So that's the way to the skill thing. And I'm going, man. I know. This is like we're doing anything except what I said we were going to do. But like I just – it's already in my brain, right? I've already had this, this idea, this thought that – we're going to go get this specific item because I'll be able to sell it for 500 and something gold. And 500 and something gold is, is good. It would, that would be helpful. How the fuck do I get up here? What is this? What is this nonsense? There we go. You don't have to throw me for this one, pal. It's all good. There we go. Money. I remember where all the money chests are. I gotta tell you. I'm having an equivalent amount of fun playing through this a second time in a row. I don't care that we just did this on the other character. It is fun. The mobs through here are fun. They are they are difficult without being treacherous. And there's bandits right above us. We need to be careful. We don't want to aggro them because I'm not trying to get into another giant fight. I'm glad there's no Saurians caking the walls through here. Happy about that. I'm happy this game is running. I'm happy that I'm able to play this game. There we go. I don't want that fish. Somebody else can pick that up. Get your hands all sticky. It's fine. Alright, let me give this to Leon. And give these to Leon. Y'all are my flesh suit cases. Nom nom nom. And devour some steak. Alright, let's run our asses back. Let's go save this kid from these wolves. Like, I feel terrible right now. Why am I going this way? This kid's literally just being devoured right now. Like, he's trying everything he can to stay alive against these two wolves that are just ripping him apart. They're just taking turns destroying him in this cave. What's this glow? Oh, new glows. They're flowers. I want them. This is just so you guys can see. Not because we need it. Hello! Get down. Yeah. Cooked. I love the smell of fried chicken. <laughs> Draw. Get down. If you're going to shoot somebody, you should do it like this. Stay down. Waking powder. I don't need that. These harpies are dead. This is so unnecessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, how'd that feel against the back of your head? How'd that feel going up your ass? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely dab me up after that disrespect. I didn't drop anything. What did you drop? Money? Oh, God, a lot. That dude was loaded. We just murked a full-time employee. I'll take these. Um, so I should probably explain the significance of these flowers is I did not include this part. I didn't, I didn't, uh, point this out, but, um, ceremonial cape. Interesting. Uh, I didn't point this out before, but some girl back in the village says, isn't it weird that these flowers only grow at night? That could be useful information. And it turns out, yeah, because it's leading us straight to the kid. Did he anchor down? Hell yeah, thank you, Rin. Finish him. Come here, Harpy. Long titty, no nipple, have an ass bitch. Alright, I know that we need to give this to Rin. Ah, give this to Leon. Give this to Leon. Leon. Don't you dare drink that, Leon. It's probably worth a fortune back home. Okay. I'm not going to keep picking up the flowers. I'm just going to let them leave me there. Oh boy, it's getting dark. I wonder if the griffin's going to be out here. That would suck. So, as much as I don't want to do this, I don't want to harm an animal. I'm sorry. That's a white! <laughs> Why is this happening? All right, sir. I'm gonna have to blow you up. I know, I know. You you chose violence, man. And Chicken came prepared. She's got the... She's got that holy ability. 
Yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh god, no, I was supposed to bounce off. Oh boy, these skeletons. They are on one. There we go. Oh no, 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 no. I just got out. <laughs> there we go. Come here. There we go. Now it's just us, pal. What are you gonna do? I got something just for you, man. There you go. I can have that. He's made of magic, and with a little thwip, yeah, 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 the cow is back. Yeah, 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 the cow is back. Back, back, back from his magical journey. What did he see in the powerful dimension? The answer is beans. He saw beans. Lots of beans, lots of beans. Yeah, yeah. Beans. So, that was fancy. Too bad it's for a sorcerer. I would have given it to chicken, even though hers is better. Ha 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 ha! Look at that. Superiority. It is a complex indeed. Um, her little circlet doesn't do much. I bought it and then found two. Kind of pissed off about that. Low key salty, but. She has the eminent coat, which I picked up from the first white in the boss cave of death. And then she has the blessed waist cloth, um, the cape shoes, I like to call them. And then I gave her the expedition's cloak, which was given to us after the monster calling. And then she also has this, give her a little bit more health, make her slightly less squishy. And oops. And then gave her this, the ring of percipients. So she has more magic with a K. Um, it gave us that black crystal, which is pretty sweet, right? We definitely like that. Jagged bones, sure. Scrap iron, why not? Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm pretty sure that kid is absolutely wolf food at this point. He's so dead, but... Didn't experiment with this in the previous character. I didn't even try to see if maybe, perhaps, the... Somebody opened that chest. Good, 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 good. And then we have a Seeker's token over here that we're not going to forget. But we need to... Uh, we need to have dinner. That's what we need to do. We need to camp out. We need to have some dinner, and hopefully nothing will attack us. Because we just beat a boss right here, right? So that should, that should eliminate our worry of getting attacked. I would hope. All right, gather around, kids. We're having, I guess, scrag a beast. I'm not going to use my dried meat because all that will do is get rid of a curative that lasts much longer. That would not be very efficient. So we're going for efficiency in this playthrough, right? That's our jam. And because I'm wearing similar clothes to what I had before, I definitely need to go out that way at some point. We need to follow this path back up and see if we can find those asshole harpies that drop the poison pinions. The dreaded poison pinions that I had to farm before that I'm going to need to farm again. And I'm sure that griffin is going to show up at some point. He's going to come slamming down into this field. He never stays when you fight him here. It's really annoying. But hey, the bow I'm using, it's just for him, right? That's what it said anyway. So, come on. Let's get ourselves a secrets token. I have like 33 of those now, I think. Uh, yep, there he comes. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Not a good idea to stay. As much as I want to fight the griffin, I really would like to just get the task at hand done. Shut up. What in the world? How is that? Oh my god! No, 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 don't bug me! <laughs> oh boy. See you guys in a minute. Not you guys watching, I meant my pawns. 
Come here. Oh, dirty. No! Oh, whew. I thought I was about to build brine round two. No, we're just... We're kicking. Alright. Ooh, yes, I want the speed boost. You... Nope, I'm not gonna say anything mean. Dab me up. Alright. We're almost there. Oh, shit. There's gonna be an ogre down here, too. I don't think it matters what time of day it is. I'm pretty sure he's just here all the time. Alright, that's fine. We're gonna take him down. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I got something for your ass. You fucking nerd. Yeah! <laughs> See that? Do you see that? The kick. Don't mess around, man. Chicken. This is not a good place for you to stand. Oh, thank you. She heard. I'm sorry. She must have thought I was still mad about before. I'm sorry, baby. All right. Our friend is angry. I don't care. Get angry at that, bitch. Yeah? What now, huh? You're cooked. Dunzo. Yeah, put her there. Okay. So, I'm gonna do something really funny, okay? And this is probably going to make somebody laugh. It's gonna make some people cringe, whatever is gonna happen. But this, you do not need to be sent flying to get up there. Do you wanna know why? Because you can literally just do this, like, Hold on. Give me a minute. I'll do it. This is like the tree skipping Dark Souls, okay? Dark Souls 3 in particular. Uh, there we go. Do you see? Do you see that? Look. You can do it. You just have to keep doing it over and over again. Boom. Just like that. And there's stuff up here, right? There's harpy pinions, which nobody really cares about these, right? What we do care about is this. Bam. We sell that for a thousand gold. Whoever used it, it must have worked pretty well because it ended up right in their damn nest. And then we know that on the other side of that bridge, there's a skeleton pit and a Seeker's Token. But I'm particularly concerned about this damn kid. We gotta go find him. We gotta save the boy before it gets dark again. It should not be an issue. There's my weight. Yep, we're good. All right. We're doing pretty good. We're doing well. All right, what's waiting around this corner? I know we got, I know we have more stuff. It's not going to be that easy. Here we go. This is what I wanted. Those things over there. I don't want to kill them, though. I don't want to one-shot them. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I just want them to come over here so I can have their poison pinions. Hello? Come here. What? Your AI is telling you to, to hide from me behind a rock? That's dreadful. I don't like that at all. How did that miss? Shit ain't a little higher. Okay, this is not working. I don't think I should be wasting any time on this right now. <laughs> the kid's like... Uh, that kid, he's just getting pulled apart by wolves right now. And I'm here trying to shoot birds that are too far away. <laughs> Uh, that's not funny. Why am I laughing? Okay, where is this kid? I'm pretty sure he's through the cave here, right? Because I don't... No, he's this way. There's a... Maybe? I don't freaking know. We're gonna have to find out. Yeah, you're done. Can't wait to upgrade this bow. I'm excited about that. Yes, point! Point at me! Gives me more time to shoot you. Let's follow this road real quick, see where it leads, and then we will try to familiarize ourselves and see if this is the path or not. Pretty sure this is not it, because that area down there, I d 
don't think I'm supposed to find. I remember going past... Like... I remember finding a big hill. Yeah, that's... This is not it. We're going the wrong way. Come on. Come on. Um... Poor kid. I'm a horrible savior. Nobody should ever rely on me for these things. It's a terrible idea. I need to find this big hill that have the the rock lizards. And then there's some boulders that you can push down said hill. I'm pretty sure it's this right here. No, this is... This leads to it, though, I think. Yes, indeed. Um... Where does this gorge go? Hello. A woo to you too. Where are the others? They're doing a great job blending in. Alright. Cool. The only problem is, this is not cool. I don't recognize this forest whatsoever. I don't think we're going the right way. Nope, we are. It's just, ha, this is it. The Putrid Cave. Bam. When in doubt, marry a doc. Always follow your nose. There's twice as many wolves in here now. It's like the game auto-leveled. It was like, you're going to be significantly more badass this time around, so we need to double the amount of wolves. Inga! Drop kicked, and then Chun lead. Little boy. Yes, you're gonna make it. Right. Come with me if you want to live. Dun 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 dun. That's a movie you gotta watch before you die. Terminator 2. If you haven't already. Alright, there's something around here. There's a chest. I remember the first time I came through here, somebody found a fairy stone or something. Where was it, though? That's the question. There's supposed to be a chest or something nearby. I guess this was it. It just looks totally different because it's daytime, you know? I didn't recognize it. Um, let's see, is there anything noteworthy? I remember hearing one of my pawns, I got that little notification that one of my pawns got a fairy stone coming through here the first time. I definitely, definitely don't want to miss that. Like, if I know it's here, I want it. Is this it? Let this be it, please. Hmm. Nice. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So just gotta go down, follow the ravine. E, Z, P, Z. Shoot, we even have time to do... Well, I don't know if we should, if we have the kid with us, but we may even have time to do the left side of the bridge, where Skeletons and the other Seekers token is. I think there's also a ring down there that we can sell. And a half full lantern, if you guys recall. Okay, the question is, how do we get back? That damn kid better not be stuck. Come on, y'all. Where is this kid? What's he stuck on? Why isn't he following? Come here, you little bastard. They don't pay me enough to babysit, alright? The Arisen's salary does not match with inflation. I think this kid is just directionally challenged. And he's dreadfully slow. That doesn't help. Okay. I think the way to get back, we're going to have to go through, through here. I don't think we're going to have to deal with the rock lizards. Maybe we skipped over that entirely. I might just not remember this place as well as I thought. That could also be a possibility. 
those fucking birds, dude. I want them to come over here. Yes. <laughs> oh, don't die. Shit. Oh, sweet, he's alive. Nice. Yeah, come over here. Come here. No, don't die. Don't. Come here. Come here. We don't want them to die over the edge. I need to be able to loot them. That's the point. Oh. Did you guys see that? I just barely got that double shot off in time. Yes. Poison Pinion. Thank you. We got one. I think I need three to upgrade this armor. Pretty sure that's what it is. Best believe we're going to get all three. Don't worry. In due time. Damn, this has been a solid episode. I mean, considering I'm not necessarily covering new ground, uh, I probably could have just done like a retrospect of this part because we've technically already done it once. I've already showed it on this playthrough. Here's Rock Lizard Valley. Yep. But we're not going to deal with all that. We're going to get this kid home, and then we'll go do that separately. But I probably could have just like made this retrospect too, but I didn't want to, man. I wanted to play through this part again because it was just so enjoyable. Like, I really like this portion of the game, this whole chunk of the map. There's tons of bad guys here. There's ogres hanging off of walls and shit. Poisonous harpies. Chimeras, white cyclopses, griffins. Everything we want to fight is here. And boy, has it been fun. So here's what we're going to do because I remember... I remember the way back. Never mind, we're not. Because there could be a chance that we could run into those harpies with the poison pinions if we follow this road. This is technically the long way back. Um, I say long way back, but it's like it's going to take that much longer. Here we go. This is what I want. No, these are regular harpies. Never mind. I don't want you. Dang. Executed. Finish them. Maybe there's more of the poisonous ones up here. On Arisen Can Hope. That would be super ideal. And usually right here? This is usually where the... I mean, there won't be because we already had the ogre spawn over there. But, oh, I forgot to raise that thing for rift crystals. Um, here we go. This is what I want. These guys. Boys of no. Boys of pending, thank you. <laughs> if that had been a poison pinion, that would have been great. Ah, uh, bummer. There's something down here. It's a flower, right? Yeah, I remember it being something dumb, like no reason to actually go down there. That's probably going to be a cave or something that opens up later in the game once we are able to do that. But grab this guy. I don't think we need anything else. Oh, there's Saurians in here. Shoot, I forgot. Oh, goodness. They're spitting poison. Apparently it didn't work because nobody got poisoned. Love that. All right. Let's be efficient, shall we? Do you see that? Do you see that? That is the stinky stank of Seeker's token. I can smell it. To the quick. Yep, there it be. Hello, beautiful. Give me the money. All right. Drop kicks. Yeah! 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 Oh, yeah! Love it. Then they drop the tails. That would have been cool. Is that money? Dang, dude. Just a sly 1500? Lantern's off. 
And bandits. We know we're going to have bandits in here. And there's also going to be something valuable over here. I think it's an onyx or something. You didn't have to get up. You just sit there. It's fine. Yeah. Get away from my cat. Other cat. Alright. Are you good, G? Got a little speed boost? Okay, what is a jasper. That's what it is. I remembered. And then there's something up here. Except... Let's raise this. I recall whatever it is being useless. Not good. But let's go up here anyway. Is this an NPC? Wow. She stole a... Oh, wow. Never mind. Money. <laughs> she stole a really good curative from that guy. I will give credit where it's due. This kid followed me all the way up here. That's funny. Uh, yeah. Dried meat. Nice. I'm gonna eat that guy for dinner. Alright, y'all. We're almost there. We're almost home. I promised this kid he'd be home in time for dinner. Die. Burn. None shall stop me. Yeah, that there, right there. That's the area I was talking about. That's how you get down to Rock Lizard Gorge, is what I'm calling that area. It's not really called that. That's just what I call it. I'm a very visual person. If there's, if there's a way to describe something very efficiently via imagery, I'll think of a name. All right, are you still with us, child? That's it. Come on. Man, our drip looks good. I could wear this to the end of the game. I wouldn't even care. Little boy. You are needed. Your grandfather has been looking for you. Even though I got distracted hardcore on the way to you did not making I did not make saving you my priority but well you know yes well wouldn't that be hilarious if I went to the forger and just made him I just forged the boy and brought him like a copycat like a homunculus <laughs> like a pet cemetery he just ends up being super evil and attacking his grandpa what the hell is wrong with me uh, 11,000? I thought he gives you 12. Hmm. Am I misremembering that? Uh, do you have a new quest for me, man? No, I was asking you. Alright, whatever. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I guess we're going to... We're gonna call it here, right? That seems like a good place to end. And isn't it wonderful, now that I've switched to PlayStation 5, doesn't have to be cut up. We can go back to just classic LP playthrough fashion. It's been too long. So, what are you waving at, man? Stop trying to get my attention. We're going to bed. We're closing shop for the night. Y'all, stay. Good lord. Alright, so, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, even though I technically have taken you guys with me through here already before. Just not necessarily in the capacity we just did. Uh, I think it went much better this time because we're just better. We're stronger, more prepared, and it was really smooth. Way more boss fights, way more good encounters. Outstanding. I'm a huge fan. But fret not. We'll deal with more of this place next time. I think the next episode is going to be us running back through there again, but we're going to go collect stuff that we've been missing, like the Seeker's Token that I was talking about. We'll do the Skeleton Room again, where I was too stupid to figure out how to open the door so my pawns could get in. Uh, we'll deal with that. Maybe run into another Griffin. That would be that would be sick, because I'd like to fight another one. I'd like to see if they're being uh, honest about this bow and see what it can do against its target quarry. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. 
Thank you guys so much for continuing to join me on Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you guys are enjoying your own playthroughs as uh, much as I'm enjoying this one. I'm having a lot of fun on this character. I think it's going to make a massive difference in our journey, how much more fun I'm having. And uh, I've been your faithful host. Let's play Dark Souls HD. I will see you guys in the next episode.